Hello and welcome back to another channel update for Psychon Plays. Uh, today it has been a while since we had uh, another channel update, so I figured I would just give you a bit of a rundown of what has happened, plus uh, give you a sneak peek of what is supposed to happen. So for starters, I always thought that the first segment was interesting or semi-interesting for you guys since the end of last year we have grown quite a bit i wanted to welcome the 2000 members that have joined ever since great to have you on board i love every single one of you um, and i absolutely appreciate your support on the right hand i wanted to showcase just what kind of content you guys are uh, frequently watching so for starters uh, the whole war tales and just general guides section is still running very strong so please uh, appreciate that i will continue doing guides but in order to get the level of in-depth guide and knowledge i will need to play the games a lot uh, to understand them i highlighted a couple of interesting things number one war tales number two crown wars and number three warhammer 40k the fourth that i should have uh, marked is XCOM because i have news for each of uh, those games related to the channel so without further ado let's jump into it so let's take a look at uh, the let's plays that have uh, been finished and the ones that are ongoing i always use this section in order to highlight uh, that you might have missed content that could be interesting of you so recently i finished two let's plays number one uh, was banisher uh, the ghost of new eden which actually was a surprisingly interesting game very story rich completely different not necessarily a tactical game uh, played it on the hardest uh, difficulty and it was reasonably uh, challenging so I really appreciated that game. The other one, a true gem that I highly can uh, recommend, is Wastelands uh, 3 on the Supreme Jerk difficulty. Absolutely blast that I had with that uh, playthrough. Uh, it's a, a fantastic game. Nothing more to say there. Ongoing. Currently, we are having uh, the Long War, and that will take us some time. I will highlight that at the beginning of uh, the playthrough, I was kind of on the fence whether or not I want to do just 30 to 50 episodes, or if I risk a full playthrough. And you know what? I'm a risk taker, so you're going to get a full playthrough. Uh, not only a full playthrough, but I decided to kind of add a little bit more challenge to it. And we're going to see a global liberation campaign. That means every single uh, of the 16 areas in the world are liberated. The reason why that is super difficult is because uh, the way that Long War works, they will always put all of uh, the remaining uh, squadrons of uh, of advent into the areas that are left so you kind of stockpile in the last area all of the uh, power f uh, of the aliens so therefore it's going to be very very populated um, anyways that's going great and i appreciate that you like uh, the show the other uh, show that is currently airing is uh, the chaos gate demon hunters warhammer 40k uh, playthrough which again was a surprisingly uh, good game uh, this and wasteland are definitely definitely gems that i found this year <clears throat> which are fitting nicely into the tactical game genre so that'll be ongoing uh, for a while so that's kind of the stable but what are we going to see on top of that cycle well, great that you ask Invisible Strawman that is always asking the right questions to transition between slides. The next uh, topics that are upcoming, let's start with XCOM 2 as content. I appreciate that the long war playthrough will be long. And when I say long, I'm talking about really, really long. That's one of the downsides of uh, long war. You kind of not get it done um, sub 100, um, mi uh, 100 missions, maybe less, uh, more than that. So I I expect 250-ish uh, missions and uh, therefore I appreciate that the interest of something is kind of declining over time. So in order to spice it up here and there, I am collecting Saving Your Disaster campaigns and I will release them as and when I see fit uh, just to uh, g garner a bit of interest and also showcase normal non-Long War modded XCOM playthrough. So that's going to uh, be the normal order of XCOM. And as always, once the Long War series is nearing an end-ish, we are going to 
um, vote for a new challenge. I have a couple of ideas uh, that you guys brought up. Uh, thank you for uh, providing these. So I'll put them into a bucket as usual and then you have a big vote and we're finding out what the next challenge is going to look like. As for non XCOM 2 upcoming content, I already mentioned it in one of uh, the comments. I fell in love not only with the Warhammer 40k universe that happened a long time ago, but also with a Rogue Trader, which is a CRPG in the Warhammer 40k universe. And after we uh, or I played the Chaos Gate uh, game, I figured I want to get uh, the itch for Warhammer 40k scratch just a little bit more. So I looked into Rogue Trader and that was a great decision. I don't want to um, preempt too much of the game but it is an excellent crpg deep tactical elements that i was surprised uh, about and it has a good amount of warhammer 40k lore so i'll be doing a full playthrough of that as well um, it'll be again a, a bit longer i appreciate that the crpgs typically aren't like 30 hour uh, games or 40 hour games they are a little bit longer but um, i am jumping into unfair and even unfair plus difficulty without knowing anything about the system so watch me suffer then uh, one of the other upcoming Let's Plays that we're going to see is going to be Crown Wars. I've uh, recently did a mini Let's Play on that game and it has been so positively received both by you and also by me personally that I thought uh, we might want to dive into it and do a full uh, playthrough. If you haven't seen the game, check out the mini Let's Play of Crown Wars. Uh, you can also put a character application there if you want to be drafted. That is, in a sense, a medieval XCOM 2 game where uh, you're replacing the XCOM classes just really with a medieval setting that is featuring the Hundred Year War between England and France. It has reasonably deep tactical battles. We have to see how that holds up throughout the uh, game. And it has a base kingdom building plus a character level de design and permanent death. So what is not to love with that? It seems like a really good game so far. Then I had been approached by Shinro Games, uh, which uh, is the designer of War Tales, to review their new uh, Tavern DLC expansion. I've already done that, uh, just need to upload it and put it into a format that is uh, digestible for YouTube. It won't be super long and it won't be the typical war tales like battles and uh, fighting uh, let's play, but it will be a bit of an ex uh, let's play of the features of that DLC. It's non-sponsored, although they gave me the copy for free, so I'll reserve the right for my own opinion about uh, all of it. And we're going to just take a look into war tales since it is the number one, uh, from a viewer perspective, number one. Uh, source of views on the channel I figured I'll just do a little bit more war tales as well and then finally the new uh, release of the diaries of death which um, we have done about one and a half years ago in Skyrim Requiem so many of you asked me to come back to the diaries of uh, death the challenge that I had with it was not so much that I don't like Skyrim. I think it's an excellent game and we could revisit the characters uh, that are still alive. Uh, there are a couple of challenges with it, though. Uh, Skyrim, although being a vast and pretty sizable world, does have limited content at the end of uh, the day. It's a single player game and I did like, what, nine series of, seri uh, of Diaries of Death. So at the end of the nine series, uh, we were kind of at a point where um, the content of the game was vastly explored. Yes, there were a few end game uh, options that are still available, but believe me, it's not that interesting to see that, uh, that content because it's a lot of grinding and then at some point buffing up enormously to take down certain um, end bosses. So if you are interested in that type of content, leave a comment down below and I'll reconsider. Maybe uh, I'll do um, a Requiem playthrough. But my idea was to find a spiritual su successor and still keep the hardcore element of it. So it just so happened that the YouTube algorithm uh, suggested me a couple of uh, hardcore games, one of which was uh, World of Warcraft uh, Classic. And since 
I was baffled by the idea that uh, you would play an entire playthrough of World of Warcraft without dying. I figured, you know what, that might be exactly the type of challenge that I would uh, like to take onto the channel. So we're going to do kind of Diaries of Death, but from um, Series 10 onwards, uh, the studio set has now been changed and instead of uh, using requiem we're going to see a little bit of world of warcraft classic the idea behind that is i chose the first uh, class and the first playthrough just to get a feel for how you guys like it we're going to see frost mage uh, and we're going to see uh, leveling as far as possible until uh, the inevitable demise comes or playing even at level 60 if uh, that hasn't happened before then afterwards and that leads me to my idea of uh, the voting on uh, the channel i will put up a couple of community uh, votes for the next uh, diaries of death run and what i would give you as an option is to select what class you want to see uh, i will play whatever uh, it is a classic so it's the base uh, classes that that are available minus mage because uh, that already has been happening in the first uh, run and in the comments, I would ask you to place uh, a name and a race uh, suggestion. The funniest or most fitting or just a most handsome name will be uh, chosen. And there's also the option to propose challenges if you want to uh, put that down, i.e. certain achievements or tasks uh, to make the run a little bit more difficult or spicy. So feel free to place those uh, in the comment section below as well. And then I'll do the uh, World of Warcraft Hardcore uh, Series 2 or aka uh, Diaries of Death uh, Series 11. Thanks a lot. I hope that is interesting and exciting uh, content to uh, come up for the foreseeable future. As always, remember guys I and gals, of course, I appreciate your viewership. Um, I absolutely love your comments, so please let them uh, coming and uh, see you in the next uh, series. Bye bye.